In a couple of weeks, I will be headed on a six-month business trip spanning Japan, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Taiwan. Since this is a work trip, first and foremost is my computer. Although my primary here in Toronto is the 16-inch MacBook M1 Pro, for meetings and especially for travel, the dramatic size and weight savings makes my 13-inch MacBook M1 Air the go-to. Given that this is a trip that involves crossing borders, my passport is obviously critical too. The one that works for me, primarily because it's the most size and weight saving, while hitting all of my must-haves, is the Bellroy Travel Wallet. Dedicated storage for the local transit cards of the cities I'll ping pong between most, two currency sleeves so the backup emergency cash for the country I'm in at any given time goes up front, and all the other emergency currency bills tucked into the sleeve behind. Additional card sleeves for overflow, a dedicated nano SIM card sleeve and SIM card tool sleeve for ease of swapping country to country, and although I personally don't need it because I always have a full-sized pen with me, this passport wallet includes this beautiful micro pen for those immigration and customs forms many countries still require us to fill out by hand. Moving on to my key solution, I'm still using my trusty Night Eyes Espiner No. 2 size anchored to the Nightcore T4K. This is usually just anchored to one of the zipper poles of my sling, but when I inevitably rent a motorcycle or scooter or check into an Airbnb where a physical key is needed, having this multi-use keychain is fantastic. With a flashlight as one of the most underrated small items to pack, whether it's in the event of a power outage, looking for things you drop at night, or even as a tool for petty crime self-defense by blasting 4,000 lumens into a drunk assailant's face to disorient them enough to leave the situation without the stupid risk of ending up with potential criminal or legal charges abroad by laying a beat down like you might typically in home turf is just awesome. Side note, but walking around the workshop, I realized that I use O-Lights exclusively for work at the Metal Fab shop, but refuse to travel with O-Lights because I don't want to pack and keep track of that extra proprietary magnetic charging disc. For travel, my flashlight must use a standard USB Type-C interface, which this Nightcore T4K does use, and as a last must-have for my one-and-done travel flashlight, a beam up clip that can be easily attached to the brim of my cap for hands-free illumination in a pinch is a must. My phone is obviously a part of my travel tech kit and everyday carry, but the phone itself matters much less to me than the case and accessories, which for me has been and will continue to be the peak design case for 2024 because of this, their quick lock system to attach a multitude of accessories. The only system accessory of theirs I pack for travel is their universal handlebar mount. Without fail, Everywhere I go, I inevitably either rent a scooter, a motorcycle, or use the local bike share. And being able to quickly and easily mount my phone for Google Maps to the handlebars makes navigating where I'm going safe and convenient. Speaking of my phone, laptop, and flashlight, charging is obviously a consideration, and while until early last year, I still packed my laptop brick and phone brick for all of my trips, since this past summer, I have rocked one of Anchor's GAN Prime charging bricks. This one delivers a whopping 120 watts, which means this one cube can safely and quickly charge my MacBook Air, iPhone, and flashlight simultaneously with its three USB ports. Depending on the country I'm headed to, a universal outlet adapter is, of course, necessary as well. But best of all, to pare down the sheer number of cables I need to bring, a high-quality Thunderbolt 4 cable means that one single cable can handle charging my laptop, flashlight, and camera, and if I had an Android phone or the newest iPhone, that one Thunderbolt 4 USB cable would be able to charge that too. But since I don't upgrade or change phones until it completely dies out on me, I still bring a lightning cable for my iPhone 13. With such a huge reduction in size and sheer cable count compared to last year, all my charging needs, aside from the international adapter, now fit cleanly inside of this alpaca hub pouch. By the way, some shameless self-promotion, but Series 002 of my Ranger eye patches are available, and in fact, there are still some sets of Series 001 left as well for those who have pouches or bags with the hook side of Velcro on them. Both are limited to just 222 sets total, and like everything in this video, I have linked them down in the description. But moving on, my power bank remains the Nightcore MB10K, and you guessed it, it's because it's still the lightest and slimmest option I have found that serves my needs while still packing 10,000 milliamp hours of juice. Last up in tech are my cameras. The Sony A7S III is my travel camera, and generally speaking, for travel, I just keep the 16 to 35 f4 power zoom on there. The low light performance of the a7S III gives me confidence that I don't need a super fast lens to still capture usable footage indoors or at night, and the sizing is great for travel. 
Besides that is my DJI Osmo Action 4, which I use strictly as a POV camera by using a PGY Tech Beetle Clip on the strap of my sling and anchoring the action camera directly so it's chest height. This one's probably useless for most, but as a watch lover, I always EDC a wristwatch, and when I'm abroad, for practical purposes, my daily wrister is either the Seiko SKX007 that I modded, swapping out the 60-minute dive bezel insert with this dual time zone insert, or a GMT like the Seiko 5 Sports GMT, so I can keep track of local time and my home time in Toronto, since I still have frequent phone calls and Zoom meetings while I'm abroad. Can't forget about my wallet, and continuing on from previous years, my travel wallet of choice is the Bellroy Note Sleeve because, as you can probably gather as an ongoing theme for me, it's tremendously compact. My wallet here in Toronto for years has been the Bellroy Card Sleeve, but that's mainly because I rarely use cash on home turf, with my most frequently used credit card on the exterior pocket, a spare small amount of cash tri-folded into the back sleeve and my remaining six cards I might need tucked into the central pocket with this handy pull tab extractor for easy access. But all of the cities I'll be going to are still quite cash heavy, so I swap out to this note sleeve that has a dedicated bill compartment while still being able to carry the cards I need. My most frequently used cards abroad, namely the local transit card, my primary credit card, and hotel key card go into the three quick access sleeves, while all my other standard cards go into the side loader pocket, which, like my daily Toronto wallet, features this handy pull tab extractor for easy access. This RFID protected wallet also has these two additional sleeves inside the cash bills compartment, and in this one I store a copy of my travel emergency medical insurance policy, while this one with the cover flap generally stays empty. But with the safety of a flap is a great place to store a physical key or even a few small coins if you're into that. You may have noticed that I still bring my local driver's license and that is to pair with the last item here. Like I said, I frequently rent motorcycles or scooters and some rental agencies require not just an international driver's permit, but also to see a physical copy of my local driver's license along with it when renting. With all of these things, I need a bag to keep it all in. And although I did make a dedicated video after I discovered it a few months ago, the main reason I am choosing the Alpaca Bravo Sling Max is because it fits my MacBook Air. If you are traveling for vacation and don't need to have a computer frequently with you, you definitely don't need something this size. And I welcome you to watch this video of the three best compact travel slings I have found at three drastically different price points, which I will link down in the description next to the timestamp of this section. But let's load out this bag that sits within the strict international flight's personal item size allotment. Laptop goes into the dedicated laptop sleeve against the back of the main compartment. My most important things, including my wallet, passport wallet, and international driver's license go into the extra recessed zipper pocket against the back so that it's right up against my body and hidden from view. Flashlight anchor to the SB inner goes onto this zipper pull, while my handlebar mount goes into the internal pocket on the right side against the front of the main compartment. And my hub pouch with all of my wall charging needs as well as my power bank go into the sleeve on the left side, since there is this handy cable pass-through for me to feed my iPhone cable out so I can just charge my phone while I'm on the go. My A7S III with the lens mounted goes into the main compartment along with this PGY Tech Mantis pod. You'll notice that the front compartment stays relatively empty. That said, if I'm going to be filming any YouTube videos where I will be talking, my Rode Wireless Go mics go in here, along with any other small knickknacks like tissue and sanitizer. Now, there are two critical things I bring that I did not share in this video because, as usual, I want to respect your time. And they are one, my notebook and pens, which I'd argue most people don't use, and this dollar store binder clip for security that's much better shared in feel. So, if you're curious, you'll definitely want to watch this video right up here. This video down here shows why a notebook is absolutely vital for me earning a living and might be something worth considering for you as well. I'll leave them both on screen so you can choose which one to watch next, but while you're deciding, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.